Have you ever wondered why a tiny nation with a population smaller than most cities holds one of the most formidable fighter fleets in the Middle East? Why would a peaceful Gulf state invest millions in a fourth-generation war machine known as the Mirage 2000, even when it stands miles away from traditional battlefields? The answer lies not just in defense, but in power, prestige, and silent warning. The Dassault Mirage 2000 isn't just a fighter jet, it's a flying legacy. Developed by France's Dassault Aviation in the late Cold War era, the Mirage was born into an arms race dominated by F-15s and MiG-29s. But unlike its larger, heavier rivals, the Mirage 2000 was built like a fencer, lightweight, agile, and lethal with precision. When Qatar acquired its Mirage 2000s in the late 1990s, the world took note. Not because Qatar was expected to go to war, but because Qatar was preparing for peace from a position of undeniable strength. Underneath its smooth, triangular delta wings and polished fuselage lies decades of refined French engineering. Capable of flying at Mach 2.2 and equipped with RDY radar and MICA missiles, the Mirage 2000 can detect, track, and destroy multiple targets, on land or in the skies, before they even realize they've been locked. But what makes the Qatari Mirage 2000s particularly fascinating is how they're used. Not as tools of war, but as signals of sovereignty. A political message with afterburners. Each time these jets take off from the Al Udiyid Air Base, the desert air shakes, not from noise, but from the message. We are here. We are ready. We are not alone. Behind every Mirage 2000 sortie lies a careful balance of diplomacy and deterrence. With regional tensions always simmering and rival powers flexing across the region, Qatar's Mirage fleet acts as both a shield and a spotlight, reminding friends and foes alike that modern air power is not just about combat, it's about control. But there's more beneath the metal. During the 2017 Gulf diplomatic crisis, when Qatar was cut off by several neighboring nations, these very Mirage 2000s became symbols of resistance. They patrolled Qatar's skies relentlessly, ensuring that no airspace would be violated. No message would go unanswered. They became airborne guardians in a crisis that was fought less with bullets, and more with posture. Qatar's Mirage jets are often mistaken as outdated compared to 5th-gen stealth fighters, but don't be fooled. These birds are constantly upgraded. ESA radar systems, modern jamming suites, and helmet-mounted sights keep them sharp. And in a region where alliances can shift like desert winds, Qatar's Mirage 2000s remain ready. Quietly, consistently, purposefully. This jet, once a French icon, has now been adapted as a symbol of Qatari resilience, pride, and preparation. Its very presence on tarmacs, in parades, or on joint drills sends a deeper message than most speeches ever could. The Dassault Mirage 2000 is a legacy fighter jet, yet remains a symbol of national strength, aerial precision, and strategic deterrence for many nations including Qatar. Built by the legendary French aerospace company Dassault Aviation, this single-engine delta-wing aircraft was designed in the late 1970s as a response to a new generation of threats during the Cold War. When Qatar entered the picture, acquiring its fleet of Mirage 2000s, it wasn't merely about air defense. It was a statement of ambition, alignment, and readiness in a turbulent region. The Mirage 2000 is powered by the Snecma M53 P2 turbofan engine, providing it a maximum speed of over Mach 2.2 and a combat range exceeding 1,550 kilometers. Its unique delta wing structure allows exceptional maneuverability, a reduced radar signature, and higher agility in close dogfights. Qatar chose this jet not for outdated purposes, but for its adaptability in modern warfare. Over the years, these jets have undergone extensive avionics upgrades, incorporating digital cockpit systems, multimode RDY radar, and improved target acquisition capabilities. For a country like Qatar, surrounded by larger, sometimes more aggressive neighbors, the Mirage 2000 offers something rare, air dominance without dependence. The aircraft can carry a variety of armaments, including MICA and MAGIC-2 air-to-air missiles, laser-guided bombs, and precision ground attack weapons. Despite its original design for high-speed interceptions, the Mirage 2000 has proven its versatility in multi-role scenarios. 
For Qatar, this versatility means its air force can respond to fast aerial threats, as well as support ground operations if necessary. This adaptability became especially important during the 2017 Gulf diplomatic crisis, where Qatar was diplomatically isolated by neighboring countries. Though no missiles were launched, the mere presence of armed Mirage 2000s in Qatar skies became a visible symbol of sovereignty and endurance. These jets patrol daily, not in aggression but in assertion. The aircraft's very flight path became a message, our skies are not yours to claim. What makes the Qatari Mirage 2000s uniquely fascinating is how the platform reflects the nation's broader strategic posture. Qatar is a small country with vast ambitions. It houses al Udiyid Air Base, the largest U.S. military base in the Middle East. It invests in world-class weaponry not to project aggression, but to guarantee neutrality and independence in a volatile region. And the Mirage 2000 fits into the strategy perfectly, agile enough to respond quickly, advanced enough to defend convincingly. These aircraft are not static museum pieces. They participate in multinational exercises, fly alongside U.S. F-22s and British Typhoons in joint drills, and serve as key players in regional readiness frameworks. Their systems are constantly upgraded, their crews extensively trained. Pilots train not only for air superiority missions but for strike, interdiction, and electronic warfare. From every angle, be it speed, payload, or electronic suite, the Mirage 2000 continues to evolve. The cockpit of the Mirage 2000 is a blend of analog legacy and digital modernization. Modern Qatari variants include head-up displays, HUD, hands-on throttle and stick controls, HODAs, and radar warning receivers, RWR, to enhance situational awareness. This means the pilot operates in a cognitive environment where split-second decisions are assisted by streamlined data presentation and automated threat response. Even the radar system has evolved, from the older RDM radar to the more modern RDY radar with air-to-ground mapping and multi-target tracking. All of this contributes to a jet that remains relevant despite being originally designed over four decades ago. The Mirage's Delta Wing offers more than aesthetics. Its aerodynamics allow for higher angles of attack, rapid roll rates, and a unique ability to maintain energy during complex maneuvers. In desert conditions like those in the Gulf, this agility is crucial, not just for combat but also for routine patrols under extreme thermal stress. The aircraft's robust airframe and engine have shown resilience in sandy, humid environments, where maintenance often challenges even newer aircraft. Qatar's investment in its Mirage fleet includes specialized hangars, trained maintenance crews, and logistics tailored for long-term operation. This foresight means the aircraft not only flies, it fights and survives. Historically, the Mirage 2000 also represents an important geopolitical tool. France, by offering these fighters to Qatar, strengthened defense ties beyond simple transactions. Military cooperation led to technology transfer, pilot training programs, and bilateral defense agreements. These fighters thus symbolize a deeper partnership, one that aligns Qatar with European defense standards and doctrines. From a pilot's perspective, the Mirage 2000 is a jet that demands skill but rewards expertise. Its fly-by-wire system makes it highly responsive, while its single-seat configuration forces total focus. Every move, every input, translates directly to the aircraft's behavior. It is not a plane that flies you, it is one you learn to master. This mastering process has turned Qatari pilots into elite aviators, often participating in international exercises like Red Flag and Advanced Tactical Leadership Course, ATLC, in the UAE. These exercises simulate high-threat environments, including electronic warfare, multi-jet coordination, and live-fire scenarios. In all of them, the Mirage 2000 performs with distinction. Beyond its military role, the Mirage 2000 has become a symbol of Qatar's technological reach. Showcased in national parades, defense exhibitions, and air shows, it flies not just with missiles, but with messages. Says Qatar is alert, capable, and ready to control its skies. In terms of survivability, the jet's self-protection systems include chaff and flare dispensers, radar jammers, and secure communication suites. These upgrades allow the Mirage 2000 to operate in contested environments, 
often integrated into wider air defense networks that include early warning systems, ground-to-air missiles, and allied aircraft coordination. The Mirage doesn't work alone. It leads and integrates. Its ability to refuel mid-air further extends its operational range, giving it reach far beyond Qatar's immediate geography. This is crucial for maritime security, where threats often emerge from sea-based drones, piracy zones, or reconnaissance flights. In the future, as fifth-generation fighters become mainstream, the Mirage 2000 may not remain Qatar's frontline jet, but it will continue to serve as a backbone of experience, a testbed for doctrine, and a crucial reserve force. Even as newer Rafaelis and F-15 QAs arrive, the Mirage 2000 remains vital, dependable, and symbolic. For Qatar, it's not about phasing out, it's about upgrading intelligently. With the world shifting towards hybrid warfare, drones, and cyber-electronic threats, the Mirage 2000 stands as a bridge between generations, both in technology and strategy. It connects the lessons of the Cold War to the complexities of 21st century geopolitics. This fighter jet, with its sharp silhouette and iconic engine roar, continues to fly not just across the skies, but through the chapters of regional history. It is both witness and participant in a region that changes by the week. In this way, the Mirage 2000 of Qatar is more than metal, wires, and software. It is memory. It is message. It is mission. Want to see how the legacy continues beyond the Mirage? Pushpin check out the full video on the legendary Rafaeli fighter jet in the description below. You'll see how Qatar's air force is evolving with precision and power. And if you're fascinated by military aviation like this, don't forget to like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more untold stories of jets that shape geopolitics. Because in a world that watches who controls the skies, the Mirage 2000 proves that even silence can roar.